Um, first, I'm going to show you one because it's in this room that I'm starting in, and uh, it's part of a work uh, plan uh, called body of work. Um, and body of work has always been a concept that my brain has a little bit of trouble with, and that's not working, so we'll turn it around. Let me know if they can't see it, Rakim. Um, this is an old selfie. It's full size, life size. And it Hold was on one second, thing. Susan. Your hand is covering the, uh, the camera. Thank you. Better? Uh, no, we're seeing the wall. So you might want to turn. Hi. Hi, Pam. I can't hear you. You, you can hear Susan, but everyone else is muted. I can't hear you. I'm going to mute her. Everyone else muted? Okay. Yeah. Hi, cousin Michael. Okay. Is the painting in view? You you froze for one second, Susan. So hold on, let it just uh, let it just load. Uh oh. Can you right. hear me? We I can hear, hear you. We can hear you, Pam, but no one else is talking. Still frozen? Yep. Fuck. Everybody. All right. I'm just gonna move on. And uh, I started with. Am I still frozen? Probably. Mm -hmm. Huh. I can't hear you. Are you muted? I'm uh, having a computer. Okay, there we go. Now you're not frozen. I still can't hear you. Okay, and I can't see anything, so that's wonderful. Ha! Huh. Dang it. Rakim, can you see anything? Yep, we could see some pieces. Um, I don't know if it's the one that you want to show us, but we can see three on the three on the wall that you showed me yesterday. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I have a picture. I can't hide up him, um, but I can't see me. Oh well, I'll just Rakim, tell me what's up. Anyway, uh -huh. there's good. a work. There's a work I have planned called Body of Work, and that selfie uh, I tried to show you was a start. Uh, the things I'm going to show you on the floor are possibly going to be a part of it. One. Rakim, yes? Y yep, we can see. Two. Yep. Three. Mm-hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. And five. Rakim really liked this one yesterday. Anyway. That's some stuff I work, I'm working on. I started from a figural base originally, and... Uh, I can't hear Stu Susan or anybody. Pam, lower left, Mike, anything? Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um, I started from working from the figure, and then it became more interesting to be shapes and colors. This one in the upper right is like the oldest thing in the house from that uh, period. And now I'm working on some of the same things, but also doing things that I call topographical. And there's some faces coming through. I work from photos a lot. I really like color, duh. And I don't have any fixed thing or assumption. I like uh, memories and family and story. Um, the two I sort of want some comment on, you can comment on anything actually, uh, said she moving the things on the floor around. Uh, this one on the easel, I think it's done, but I'm not quite sure. And then the current big one I'm working on, is that good, Rakim? Yeah, that's fine. And you might even, um, Susan, want to like move in a little bit closer to, uh, so people can see some of like the details as well. Uh, this one has a tentative uh, title of My Sharona, um, which is what my husband always says because he can't quite get the word Corona out of his mouth for some reason. And My Sharona, for those who aren't old, Rahim, <laughs> is an old rock and roll song. And uh, it started from there. It started from You're Unseen in Virus Time. Uh, some cockroaches decided to visit us the other day, so that's the cockroach. And I think this piece here was something I, notes I wrote in some meeting, which was probably a tag meeting, and I just slapped it up there. Um, because it's about 
uh, corona time, and it's also about uh, someone with blood on their hands. There are some hands in it. And there's the Hebrew letter for health and vitality. And there are coffins and skulls. Anyway, I'm not fully satisfied. The <clears throat> If you can see the chalk marks, there, those are areas where my head goes, and I'm not so sure I like that angle or something. Um, anything else you want to focus on? Rocky? Sorry, so sorry. The bookkeeper just texted me once. I'm <laughs> no, you can, no, you're good. So, do you did you want to show them some of your drawings or anything like that, or just what's there? Um, uh, yeah, if that'll take me a minute. Oh, here's a, a self portrait. Um, Betsy, this is the beginning of my self portrait for the Women Painters West 100th anniversary show. Move your screen down just a little bit, Susan, and then just go in just a little bit. It's a little bit darker because it's backlit. There you go. Thank you. And you All have right. a question, Susan, from a Jamie, who says, um, what materials are you using? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I am mostly acrylic on paper, um, sometimes uh, oil stick. And I also work on canvas. I buy it primed in bulk from Blick. And then I have a banner maker who adds grommets so I can hang it on the wall on a nail. And then um, I live in this apartment and it's not very big. So storage has always been an issue. Um, and I store them, the paper ones are stored flat under the bed and the canvas ones get rolled up. Um, and Rakim liked some of these things the other day. Does that show? Yeah, move it down just a little bit so people can see like the bottom of the, there you go, perfect. Uh, and I like to think that the storage issues help me define the limits. I mean, if I lived on a farm and I had a, a big barn, I might do a collage or, you know, I might collect a bunch of stuff to put into work, but that's not possible. And I think that's a good thing for me because I'd have a big barn full of stuff. Uh, Shirley recognizes all these because we've been taking a, a Zoom uh, figure drawing class with our favorite teacher. It's hard to focus and there's, but you know, sometimes the limitations are good challenges. Um, I'm also short, so I can't work any bigger. This thing is about 62 by 62 um, wow. and I can't, I don't have any more room than that. <laughs> um. Um, one more question. Um, oh, so Jamie, just one more comment. She says, when you show a piece, can you move it a little bit slower and hold it for a few more seconds so they can see it just a little bit? Okay, well, is there anything that I flashed by? Jamie, I'll unmute you so you can uh, ask her here. Let me just give you one sec. And you should be able to uh -oh, unmute audio. There you go. So you should be able to talk. Can uh oh, is Jamie frozen too? Comes and goes. Well, okay, okay. I guess it switched sort from of, her to okay. Sort of like our emotional levels these days. Some <laughs> days you're fine, and some afternoons you're like, ah. So what I'm gonna do, Susan, um, I'm gonna unmute everyone now and I'll let them kind of ask some questions if that's okay. Sure, fine. Uh, okay. Okay, so everyone is unmuted. Um, so if you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Yes, Joan has a question. I have two questions. Am I unmuted? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, your drawing is uh, very good academically and very sophisticated. So what did you do before you started painting five years ago? Figure drawing for six million years, probably. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that explains why your work is so <laughs> Okay, good. yeah, no, it's not like I had no art background. Um, I have a golden oldie up here I'll focus on for a sec. 
Right, you you showed that, but I thought by old you meant five years old. So okay. Yeah, no. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not a whiz, and you know, I. Right. Show. What what did what is the figure Zoom figure class you're participating in? It's a a private studio. Um, Shirley and I have been taking uh, from this guy for a long time. I've known him personally for over forty years. And uh, right now, because we can't do a class in a studio with, you know, six to 10 of us, um, he allows some of us that he knows and we zoom in and he has um, a model who is clothed because Zoom is the internet. And uh, she does various poses with costumes and we vary the light. And so it's like that. The hard thing for me is I no longer want to spend a whole evening drawing. Um, I want to paint. and Physically, it's just not good for me. So I'm taking a break. Got it. Did you have a, you said you had a second question? That was my question. Oh, that was the second, okay. <laughs> Did anyone, uh, Betsy? Uh, yeah, I'd like to see, uh, you, you went by that self-portrait that you're doing for women painters and then it kind of disappeared. So I didn't get a chance to see it. Really, I'd like you to spend a little bit more it's time. It's not, anyway. That. How's that? Yeah, Move it down a little bit more. A little I, bit more. I'm, I'm only. I'm seeing everybody else except for the painting. <laughs> Hold on. Let me move it and you. Maybe a little more light. Well, one of the things you should do, you guys, is if you're, you should change it from. If you're on a computer, change it from uh, speaker view to gallery view. That makes it. Or you can even pin Susan's. Yes, perfect. Oh, all right. Okay. Or you can just pin Susan's video so that she always is talking. Or hers always pops up. Like she always is. How do you pin? <laughs> if you right click on her, if you right click on her video, it'll say pin video. Right click. Well, how um, do you right click on a, on a Mac? Huh? I don't see that. Or if you go. On your little picture, there will be like three dots. Yeah, oh. like where the three dots are, right. click on that. And then a pop up will come up and it will say, uh, among other things, pin video. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, do, do, well, do people want me to that, press just, so they can see how to do that? Back to the self-portrait again. Okay. It just won't stay still. Okay, so, Susan, go ahead. Sorry. I think I've said enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just, anyway, whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to make a comment about it and your, uh, you know, um, I think it, there it is. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you, what I'm, what I'm re relating to and, and, you know, is, is the, you went from an academic kind of uh, understanding of figures and have gone to uh, a more, um, you know, slightly abstract, but, you know, something that, that feels like it's more in your voice uh, that shows it. So, um, you know, I really respond, I respond to that. And, um, and some in the middle, like this one. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like you've taken, you've gone the opposite of what I do, which, uh, which is to, I mean, I get more and more detailed, but I really appreciate the, the feeling of, um, I can do whatever I want. And uh, because I, I know I think, what I'm doing. I think that's the main um, approach that I'm trying to take more or less in my 70s is I haven't got any rules. You know, I don't want to be mean or evil to people, but other than that, I can do whatever I damn well please. Yep. And also, Betsy, I do revere your work, and I could not do that if I tried. <laughs> and I've tried. <laughs> I, you know, I don't render. I'm not good. Um, I use abstract shapes because... Other than elephants, there's nothing I can guarantee that I could paint that would look kind of like what you expect it to look like. So just like, you know, I say, oh, I'm, I'm doing it on grommets because I don't believe in framing. That's bullshit. <laughs> it's partially because I can roll it up and hide it under the bed. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do what works. Yeah. Especially these days. Yep. There's that. Because yeah. my, my banner guy ain't open yet and I've got a whole new roll of of a canvas, but my approach with these large ones, 
is that I don't take it down until it finishes. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's great that you don't have to deal with the, um, uh, you know, with the frame of the, uh, the stretcher bars, you know, for a stretch canvas. So is it, what, what's the material? Is it acrylic, did you say? Yeah, uh, uh, it's acrylic. The only addition to that lately has been, um, I discovered oil sticks uh, and yeah. they're, they're great fun. Yeah. And I can, I can draw with them. For example, on the large one, um, the outline of the hands is, okay. is oil stick and the uh, coffins and the skulls are, are oil stick because, and I'm pretty sure the outline of the cockroach was also oil stick. Mm -hmm. um, the thing with oil stick, uh, the expensive ones take a week to dry. The cheaper ones only take two days, but then I can say, oh, I can get something accomplished and put it on, and then I can't do anything for two days. Goody, goody. <laughs> my, my weird relationship with working and not working. Yeah. No. Uh, Shirley, you had a question? Well, no, I just wanted to comment that I love the work that's on the floor because there's a sense of surprise or discovery. You're looking at um, shapes and then you resolve them into figures. And I think... Or, or the other way around. Well, that's true. Or the other way around. Yeah. Do you mind... And can you zoom in a little bit more on those, Susan? Or do you have to like bend down to do that? I'm sorry. I can bend down. I'm only okay. 71 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Amir, is that one, is that close enough? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, these, yeah. These, <clears throat> these are not done yet. Yeah, but there's, there's a sense of um, emergence that's exciting, especially this one. I'm, I'm fond of this. This was sort of based on the first one I did, and then I had three pieces of paper this size. So I said, well, let's try this. The color is yeah. nice and weird. Yeah, yeah, the palette's great. Now, that's, oh, go ahead. The, the, where this started, notice the lovely teal wall. Uh. Um, oh, yeah, I meant to show you this, see? I also, for a while, took my art and put it on everything I could that was fabric, and that's a shower curtain. That's fun. Yeah, and this is the start of body of work. Mm. I seem to remember that. Oh my God, Shirley, how could you? That's like 15 years old. Oh yeah. Joe, Joe made us do uh, life-size selfies, so. Yep. Susan, is something you're interested in kind of like breaking up? Because so with a lot of your work, you're breaking up the figures or, or, or vice versa or, you know, making figures out of the shapes or whatnot. So is with the paper that with the one that's on the floor with the three that's separated, is that kind of like a continuation of that where you're just kind of more like separating the like the body as well? And is that something that you're looking forward to or like going to Rocky explore more? Can Rocky you hear me? That's that's a wonderful thing, and if you're speaking about my work, you can make that up, but it wasn't in my head at all. <laughs> oh, but you know, hey, and that's that's valid. I was just curious. It's something that I got looking at it, you know? There's a lot of like separation, I think, that you have in the work. And so even with your compositions or like the color palettes and how a lot of the colors are kind of like really different to each other like there's not from what i've seen i don't think there's like a lot of like greens by greens it's like always like fragmented so like you have like this really nice like sense of fragmentation in a lot of like that for example yeah 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 i'm i'm particular about color it's like i might say okay i used to have a kind of a rule of three okay i've got two orange accents i've got to do a third and then i said fuck that um and you know, I'll do some and then I'll break away from it. Some people have said I have a good sense of color and I can't really evaluate it because I just like color, duh. Um, and I'm lost without it. Um, and I don't like, when I start from the figure, if later I'm doing it, working on a painting and suddenly I can see what I call like, oh, a traditional boob shape or a traditional calf, I'm like, well, that sucks. That's stupid. I've got to change it somehow. You know. 
Oh, we have someone that is uh, echoing. So let's see who that is. And, and I know recently I showed this, where did I, who did I show this to? I think it was Joe, Shirley. Oh, and, okay. And, and Joe said, well, I don't know about the hand. And I said, I like the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, it's part of growing up. This is my yeah. growing up into maybe being a, a good painter, but who knows? Uh, Sunhee, did you have a, did you raise your hand? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Can I talk? Yeah, yes, go ahead. Please. Uh, Susan, I, I, I think I, I, I didn't see you. Uh, you're a new member? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Welcome to our tech gallery. Thank and, you. I know yeah, I met you. Sunhee, <laughs> I have your card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I, I don't have a question, but I have a comment. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I really love your color as you're a really colorist. So your color kind of reminds me of the classic artist, like, uh, you know, Milton Avery. Do you, do you like Milton Avery? I have just figured out sort of who Milton Avery is about three weeks ago. Yeah. And, and I was very fond of that. And that, in fact, is oh, some, of, yeah, some of what I'm sort of trying. But mm -hmm. having, having tried to make things that look like the demon corns that I love. And, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Well, the hashtag on those when I post them is always, Hashtag demon corn fail. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll get something, but it won't be that. Yeah, so I love you. the colors. Yeah, very, uh, your drawing is also very expressive and it's very unique. It's very unique to you. Ah. So, yeah, it here's shows uh, about yourself. Here's and, the color palette. <laughs> hmm. Wow, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> okay, thank you. I just thank want you, to thank you, Sunhee. Thank you. All right. Thank well, you. Well, Michael, I see you with your hand up too. Yes, uh, Susan, I love your work. As you know, I bought your pieces. It's in my dining room and it, I look at it every day. This comment is more in general, not about Susan, well, indirectly. Uh, I'm a photographer and the two things that have kept me sane through this virus thing are two things. I send emails sometimes funny, sometimes not so funny. Karen and Neil get them. And I also take extremely long walks with my new knee, with my camera, taking photographs of flowers. I, I walk through Beverly Hills and the best thing that could possibly have happened, I, I took a picture of a white rose, a portrait of a white rose last week and sent it to everybody, including my property manager, whose wife is a collector. And she saw the photograph online and she ordered an enormous plexiglass version of it. But I- Mazel Well, here's, here's the better part of it. Money is short in supply right now. My property manager, is not making any income and I'm not making any income because all of my tenants don't have to pay the rent. So we did a barter. I'm, I'm, I'm giving her the, the, the seven foot plexiglass piece when, the, when we can, my printer opens up for business again. And in return, I'm getting a little extra service from my property manager. So it's a barter system. But what I wanted to impart to you all is you painters are missing out by staying in your studio. You are allowed to go out and do landscapes. I walk through the park 12 feet from somebody taking pictures of flowers. You could be like a French impressionist painter. <laughs> Well, Good if painting. I could stand to do landscapes, Michael, that's a lovely idea. I just can't bear it. Well, Michael, you know, you, you can do it. You have to try. Michael, where do you live in Beverly Hills? We take long walks. In I Beverly don't live Hills. in Beverly Hills. I drive there. 
Oh. <laughs> I live in Los Feliz. I get in my car, which is sterilized. No one but I have been in my car in seven weeks. No one. No one washes it. No one gets in it. Nobody parks it. I'm the only one. I get out in the park in Beverly Hills or in the streets. Yeah. The streets of Beverly Hills, after the rain we had, are full of gorgeous flowers. You could do... Especially the white roses. This one white rose, I well, I made it yellow and blue, actually. Oh. <laughs> well, I Michael, one thing, right, one thing you might like, idea. we have, we actually have an artist that does, um, like, flower photographs and, and pictures. I I'll, know. I'll I send know you, that. yeah. Yeah, I'll send you his stuff after. Um, thank you. Uh, yes. oh, wait, who's this in the bottom? Okay, right. Okay. Susan, do, uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to um, say or any no. other? I think